In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the slicer. Now, this is a really great tool when it comes to your bread, bagels, and baguettes. But one of the great things about the slicers is even if you're laying off of carbs right now, which a lot of people are, or if you're not making a lot of homemade bread, this is still a wonderful tool on heads of lettuce and heads of cabbage to get that perfect stringiness for coleslaw, salads, tacos, and so on. But let's take a quick look here at how easy this is to use on something like bagels and even a really soft bread. I've seen so many people struggle. One thing you don't want to do is use this in your hand and you also don't want to put your finger through the hole. You can imagine what's going to happen there. With simple bread like this, it's great to see that most of the knife is actually doing the work for me. I'm actually not even pushing down and it will do it for you. So even hard Tuscan breads and soft, soft foods, I have several cake bakers who will use this to even layer angel food cake. So again, all around great tool when you need something long to saw through. Now with the slicer, we do have two different sizes. One that's a little bit over nine and a half inches long and one that's just over seven inches long. The only real difference here is the size. So just really find the size that feels more comfortable for you. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one and I wanna hear from you. What do you use the slicer for? And what questions do you have about the slicer? Post all your comments and questions in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video and until then, remember, it's not the food that you serve on the table that matters most, it's who you share it with.